Okay, so dear Dhamma practitioners, be comfortable yourself and relax your body. Keep your back straight, neck it straight in one line and your right palm on your left. So gently close your eyes and bring your attention to this bell sound. And while you're focusing to the sound mentally, relax your body, relax your mind and relax your breathing with your thoughts. So do nothing extra. Just follow the sound, please. Namu tas bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhas Namu tas bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhas Namu tas bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhas Homage to the blessed one the exalted one, the fully enlightened one. So dear Dhamma practitioners, before we are starting our practice session, let's take a few minutes to understand ourselves, how this practice can help for us to develop a very clear foundation for yourself to to keep practice because it is very necessary when it comes to our day-to-day -day life to having your own practice, developing your own meditation routine is very necessary. But at the same time, mostly, when it comes to meditation, we just come to very silence mood or maybe we reflect on kind of like uh, our own thoughts or maybe we reflect on the past or the future like that people do different different things but how we can find the right way to to keep practice ourselves how we know that our practice will take us to the, the right destination. Because using our own thoughts and reflecting our own past or the future may not going to help for us to change. So then out of the meditation, what the benefit we get so, before go, we go into the benefit, when it comes to meditation, there are very key, important key points that you have to remember. One is calming down. So, calming down your body, calming down your mind is very important. So, then in day-to-day -day life, even before you get into a, any kind of practice. Just learn to calm down your body and mind. It's always like wild horse, wild elephant, angry snake, and uh, it's a kind of like angry teddy bear and restless monkey. It's always with something. So calmness will help you to very basically settle down 
So that is very necessary. So without that calmness, don't look for something else. So every day, little by little, once you know that you need that calmness, then it will help for you. Then it, you can gain it little by little. So the number one is develop the very good calmness with your body and mind. Another one is the aim. So now here, the mental aim. So another way we call it primary mental object. Why we need that? So knowingly or unknowingly, if you don't have an aim, as in very this in this conventional world, what will happen? You will go around the world. You will go around the things when you don't have an aim. So once you have the aim, that means once you have the primary mental object, what happens? You reverse the pattern. The world starts to go around you. When you don't have a mental object, the, you will go around the world. When you come to the mental object, what will happen? The world starts to go around you. And that means that all the cause and conditions, all the environment, that everything around us, the perception that around us, everything can come to a very collective awareness. So when it comes to that level, the recognition becomes more and more clear. So in the number one, the body and mind calmness. Number two, aim. That means primary mental object. And all the perceptions become take into the collective awareness. Once you have the collective awareness, there's something you can learn. How this mind happening, how this body happening, and how this life happening itself. Because the life itself not responsible for somebody else. What you do or and whatever you gain, it's just responsible for you. That's it. It's not responsible for somebody else. And then how this recognition come, how this life happening? Even though surface level we think it most deeply according to the way we think. That's why people so into desires. That's why in the surface level then we always so crazy for the desires. But in the surface level, even though it's like that, in the depth, the life happened according to the, the cause and conditions, cause and effect related to the, the time, the space, environment and the once the mind hold it to that the whole experience itself become your life and once the mind clinging to that experience Anymore, you can't see it is happening with this cause and conditions. So that is where we misunderstand. Oh, it is because of me. Oh, it because of the that the my my wish. So it's and another thing is deeply. You can't separate the separate the the mind and the environment and the awareness. 
because it your awareness itself the result of the environment so because if you are separate from it who you are then from where you came and then why you need the help out of the environment but when it come to your awareness your recognition we always we always separate it and believing we are more different than the the environment so make it very clear a little bit you are in this very moment your recognition come out of your own environment so you became like this person as who you are according to your own environment so in this very moment that what you think and what you see what you hear and depend on the environment that you are so maybe it is so comfortable for you and just imagine suddenly in that in your environment something else happen some noise come some disturb come and then what will happen to you what will happen to your recognition so then and at the same time in this very moment you tune to this session and the mind connecting with that and that's why you think like this that's why you hear that's why you experience this in case suddenly if the the internet drop if something happen with your computer or the cell phone that whatever you that the, your recognition suddenly going to change according to that so then there is no control over your recognition because the very the recognition is the very result of your awareness so you can't control the recognition you always when you become free from that the desire to make things happen the recognition going to be there with you so then why we don't have the recognition why we lose the recognition because we always interfere with our own mind to make things happen and in that very point what happens the awareness or the recognition disappear so then you have to be very calm relax and at the same time allow the recognition to happen within your perception in the very moment that you perceive it so if you able to do that your mind any more not going to come with some kind of ideas to change that so your mind is like the, your mind is always like a personal lawyer you know the personal lawyers they know the law but still and according to the client they willing to they are willing to to bend the law so that is what happening inside our mind also and our thoughts our experience our own ideas our own point of view it's kind of like the personal lawyer the truth is there the recognition is there but still we ready to bend that all the the law of nature or the dharma or the truth according to the way we want so just remember 
practicing meditation is not a way to bring you another very skillful kind of like a personal lawyer to bend all the laws the way you want. It's mostly take you out of that all the, the ideas, thoughts, believings, patterns, methods, views, and become just the experience. So if you're able to do that, You, you can, by the time you can captain the, the very behavior inside your mind. So that is, the, that is something, the, that is a skill that you gain because when the thoughts arise, you're able to see that thoughts. And then, and at the same time, you know, you are the responsible for this, no one else. So then by the time, you are capable to, to handle it. So in the very conventional level, when you gain this skill and the very spiritual practice become more and more and more stronger because in the very conventional level, you, you slowly start to get out of the way that you bending the the law of nature. And then you become more, another way we call it, it's kind of like a more, you become more self-disciplined person. And, in, and, and that will bring another way of calmness to your deeper inner behavior. Why we get disturbed mostly? Because of whatever we do, whatever we did, whatever we want to do, that is the disturb. So once you see your mind, you recognize out of doing this, out of feeding to these desires, you get only the disturb. There's nothing else. Once you know that, you anymore not allowed to go that way. You become more and more and more comfortable with the moment just to experience without gaining anything, without looking to, to gain something towards self-centered mind. So once your life become itself, your awareness, your experience itself become your awareness, your life become more and more and more easy. That easy mean not on the physical level of easiness. The mentally deeply, the recognition, the mechanism of deeper inner behavior become more and more comfortable for you. And once you have it, out of your all bodily, verbally and mentally actions, you're capable to do something good for you and good for others. When the day come for you to perform that kind of bodily, verbally, mentally actions, that goodness is not go towards some kind of feedback. It's the moment of clarity. It's the moment of recognition. It is a moment of completion. Bring it to you. So from that point, if you able to expand that moment to little bit more, little bit more, little bit more by the time you will see. It is not something that you attain. It is not something that you convert. It is a kind of like a way that you deeply divert that your inner thoughts or the inner awareness or the inner recognition. Because when we have the desires, 
it's always go towards that way so with the meditation will help you little by little little by little deeply to become just as who you are in this very moment right now right here for that our primary mental object is our own inhalation exhalation just try to settle down with that when you settle down with that don't look for something else don't look for gain something just try to be with it and be with it knowingly this is inhalation this is exhalation and be careful not to interfere with it not to make anything happen the way you want not to disturb not to verbalize yourself your experience so shut down that inner chattering just completely with your body and mind surrender to your inhalation exhalation and once you be with it you will see the moment by moment moment by moment it change not only change each and every cell in your body depend on the inhalation exhalation and it is interconnected each and everything interdependent so once you come to that recognition you will understand this life itself the happening to us is the bliss the moment you experience this as it is itself is your liberation so then there is no where to look there is no where to go then it's no place to attain because it's already there within you so just bring your attention to your body now your right palm on your left neck it straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture scan head to toes three times yourself and say swapateva oh may i be well and happy three times take a moment and think we gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique all the buddhas all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom so we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge in this moment with this sitting may my body become more comfortable may my breath be more smooth may no difficulties come to me may all the success come to me also think for a moment this is the last moment we're spending in this very lifetime and detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts just try to remain in the present moment observing the sensation of your inhalations and exhalations so deeply and gently breathing breathe out three times and find the sensation please and i love your inhalations exhalations happen itself through the sensation of it just recognize do nothing extra
bring your attention to your body, please. Observe your posture. We cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light through entire your compound, village, city, state, country, world, around this universe. Also as far as you can through galaxies, other planets, stars. Reminding yourself like this. With clear intention, mentally repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe. And may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are pray or strong, tall or short, big or small, Visible or not visible, near or far away, already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. forward, visualize yourself and send it as a light. To your backside, to your left side. and to your right side. Downward. And upward. all six directions at once, like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy, without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance or without any judgment. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself, may all living beings in this universe be well and happy.
Sí, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So first of all, we offer this practice to the great qualities of the Buddha, Dhamma and the Sangha. And also by the power of this meritorious deed, may all of us attain to the supreme bliss of Nibbana. May all your guardian angels and deities will receive these merits and increase their longevity and protect all of you from any kind of planetary influences or any ill effects. Ittavata chami sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva numodam tu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe bhuta numodam tu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe satta numodam tu sabba sampati siddhya Imaya Dhamma Anudhamma Patipatthya Buddham Pujemi Dhammam Pujemi Sangham Pujemi Attaya Imaya Patipatthya Jati Jaravya Adi Maranam Ha Paribunjissami Idhammi Punya Kammanga Savakkaya Vahangho Tu Sabba Dukkha Pamunchatu Bless you.